Hi, it's Lee and welcome to the Tesla Economist. It would seem I was back from my holiday just in time to pump Tesla back. The stock price was approaching the sub 200 range again. So luckily I got back when I did and we're up over 7% today. I tried to buy an option last night. Well, my night, most of yours day, as I sleep during the trading hours. But the stock jumped too high and my order didn't go through. At least my dad bought some shares the previous week and his position has built up nicely. I said that we should see a lot of support around this price. The stock was looking oversold. Now, whether the stock still has more to drop or not is another story, but what we have seen is market behavior either way. It seems to think that Tesla is a bargain at 215 right now and wants to buy up the stock. Judging by this, I would infer that we have seen a new bottom and it would take something serious to get below that again. Next, we will hopefully get to discover the new top. There are still some serious events coming from this company. I feel like I've been talking about them for most of the year and they're still yet to occur. Investing in Tesla at times really is like watching grass grow. It happens slowly, but then all of a sudden something magic happens. Kind of like poker. You see hand after hand waiting and waiting until suddenly you get a hand that matches the flop. You just have to make sure that you are in when that hand comes up. Cybertruck should knock the stock price out the ballpark. So many disbelievers out there doubting this car will hit production. Then so many in the same crowd not even thinking the car will be functional, will have massive panel gaps, will leak in the rain, the bent steel won't stay in place, you name it, there is someone out there saying it. Seeing those trucks come off the production line into the hands of those long-awaited customers is going to do wonders for the stock price. Not just the stock price, but confidence in the company, in that Tesla can deliver on what they say they can, even if years late. The stock price will probably increase more than the Cybertruck will be worth even in a year's time at volume production, because there'll be a renewed faith in Tesla's engineering and capabilities. There's so many other products on the way that will do a lot more for the financials than the Cybertruck, but the Cybertruck will serve as a pinnacle right now to demonstrate that Tesla can achieve these engineering marvels. And if that's possible, then maybe 4680s are, maybe FSD is, maybe robots, etc. And some of those add a zero to the market cap. Then we have the Highland coming out. This is a very important vehicle. Although it's not a brand new model, it's a really big update. We're expecting Tesla to incorporate all sorts of cost savings into this vehicle. Remember, Model 3 used to be a luxury vehicle and was priced accordingly. Now the prices have been cut. It doesn't need to be as luxurious and it can get away with less refined features. But mainly, we have new manufacturing processes, parts removed, and what is sounding like a new battery pack. In other words, there's a good chance that we end up with a better car that costs less to build. A car with more range, over 300 miles EPA, if it's true about this new 66 kilowatt hour battery. If Tesla have really got the manufacturing cost of this vehicle down, it is such a big deal. We can get margins up again. Of course, the biggest deal here is the fact that all these updates to the Model 3 will then be replicated to the Model Y with the Juniper update. Can you imagine if we get Model 3 and Model Y cost down and suddenly we start seeing margins around 23% or possibly higher? Remember, the price of the raw materials are coming down too. Sure, there could always be a global recession too, and the car industry will get hit. And Tesla can't weather the storm better than all the others like we used to think. That demand buffer was not quite what it seemed at the time. However, EV popularity is still growing, and if Tesla have an updated look and feel in their cars, then that will also help demand. On top of that, it gives more incentives for current Model 3 owners to buy a new Tesla, like they've never had before. A chance to perhaps get an extra 50 miles of range. If Tesla stock was still trading near the highs, I would have totally traded in to the new Model 3, especially considering the Model S planned is not going to be offered in right-hand drive. Anyway, I'm predicting that we'll have a new short-term trading range of around $230 to $260 for the time being. I think that's about where the current situation and events are priced in. From there, the macros could move it, especially if we start to hear that interest rates are actually coming down in 2024. Any inkling of that and the markets will party. 
especially Tesla. It would indirectly mean that the price of Teslas is coming down and thus demand would increase, all else being equal. And we might find out more what is going on at Jackson Hole this week. I think there is a more broader trading range of perhaps 220 to 290 when certain events look more likely, like more confidence in Cybertruck deliveries. But I still think that if we get Cybertruck and Highland launched, then as long as the economies are holding and we haven't entered recessions, then the stock should push over 300. I don't think there's much resistance to that point. And if we can get to 300, then it could keep going. From there, we could have other announcements like Gen 3 reveal, Mexico, Megapack Shanghai, and or Nevada extension all breaking ground. And perhaps this was all by design. Burn all the shorts who are probably still shorting Tesla now, thinking it's going to go back down to 100, then they'll have to cover their positions too. I'm also expecting a record quarter for production and deliveries in Q4. The reasons being that production should be more efficient after these shutdowns and thus more vehicles produced. Also, there could be a bit of backlog after the shutdowns due to lack of supply. Then Q4 is always the biggest quarter for the auto industry. So add all that up and it should be record deliveries. And hopefully margins have increased somewhat too due to these new manufacturing efficiencies. So as long as there's no major negative surprises, either macro or micro, and these events occur, then the stock could be trading even mid 300s or higher if serious FOMO starts to kick in. This does, however, take us to 2024, which we have to be concerned about. Why? Because one of the most negative events for the stock is likely to occur, Elon selling off. And he has indicated that he would be selling in 2024 and the stock will get hammered as a result. And if the stock price has risen well above 300, then it's probably a good time for him to be selling. Elon has historically had good timing when it comes to selling his stock. Then for the rest of 2024, it's mainly going to be about waiting. The Model Y should get its Juniper update, which is hopefully as good as we expect for the Highland. Most of the year though, will just be progress reports. Progress on Cybertruck production, progress on Mexico, Nevada, and Shanghai Megapacks, progress on energy ramping, progress on 4680 cells. Although one would hope that we are bound to finally get a reveal of this Gen 3 vehicle, possibly even shown a compact and a van. There is always something coming up with Tesla. This is why we continually hear hold until 2030 so much, because there are so many new products that we hopefully get to see. With outstanding engineering and research behind them, the patience of the bulls has been impressive. We haven't had a new product since the Model Y, yet Tesla is worth about 10 times the size since. It's a slow industry to grow. Despite there being so much tech involved, the products are huge and take a long time to set up manufacturing for the masses and get prices down to be affordable for the masses. And Elon will do all sorts of things that could affect the stock price. Then the FUD, the macros, the markets, the delays, Lots can happen over these long periods that will in turn affect the stock price. Tesla is so volatile for a large cap stock. There really isn't anything else like it. Thanks for listening. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and talk to me on Patreon.